the mighty Jungle King, seen here making his famous triple bean chili, wants nothing more than to help his jungle. I like to help too. The salt's over there, George. Thanks, magic voice. But sometimes even George's best efforts can bring about the very jungle chaos he seeks to quell. For example, saving jungle lobsters from a dried up pool is a noble act. Oh. Uh... But a hasty move on George's part ruins a jungle penguin pool party. and dooms the penguins to a slow, sun-baked extinction. When an extra small giraffe can't reach extra delicious leaves, the jungle shirtless hero swings into action. George helped little stretchy horse. <laughs> but leaves don't just feed giraffe. He's right, George. The leaves hide those monkeys from tree tigers. <laughs> and so, after trying to help, but only making things worse... Chili almost ready for George. Sorry about mistakes. He makes Chili Cave sleepover. That's very thoughtful, George. <laughs> That's very terrible, George. How could you put so many beans in that chili? And then eat it all yourself? And then make that smell! <laughs> Nose! Oh! George not mean to make bad smelly. George, go feel sad alone. Oh. George, wait! It wasn't that bad. Oh, much better. The Jungle King knows his mistakes ruined a penguin pool party, got a bunch of monkeys eaten, stunk the heck out of a cave. Okay, okay. George, no problems, all George's fault. Be quiet, Sky Voice. <laughs> Sounds like you have had a rough day, buddy. Who talk? Sky voice again? No, no, I'm just a guy telling another guy, hey, don't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. Really? George make many mistakes. Nah, you just got things right the wrong way. Other people might understand that if you dressed a little better. <laughs> Tiny! Aren't I? <laughs> My name's Balzac, and I was made for a body like yours. Try me on. Wait, why talking loincloth want George to have new loincloth? <laughs> because you deserve it. And because I'm very, very sparkly. Okay. <sighs> beware! Oh, beware what? This loincloth! <sighs> George Ford. Oh! Comes with pocket! <coughs> hey, that's my mouth. George, sorry, Baldac. You probably think a talking loincloth is pretty weird. George, okay with it. All right, then. Hey, do a loincloth a favor and open that tiny little door over there. Whoa! George, creepy. George, no, no. Okay, fair point. Tell you what. Let's take your new loincloth out for a spin first. Yeah! This <laughs> Hour two of wishing these boring elephants would do something not boring. George, help! Be more fun, elephants! <laughs> All kind elephant stuff, see now. George, don't the jungle! Whoa, whoa, this isn't your fault. Those elephants should be harder to scare. It's not George's fault? Seriously? Who would you rather listen to? A scientist or your underwear? Are you wearing sequins? Another hundred thousand or so trips, and the lobsters will be ready to move right back in. George, fix dry pond. Make more water come. Dare I ask how? And what are you wearing? George, make big river come this way. Pond will be super wet soon. Now, maybe. Oh, no. George, you didn't fix 
the pond, you flooded everything else instead. Um, sorry, Abe. Big wet mistake. George Fix. Hey. Who let the river get so big? Someone else really dropped the ball here. Who dropped ball? Who cares? It's not your fault. Who are you talking to? Loincloth. Oh, uh, of course. George, Ooh. did you eat the orangutan's sacred banana? <laughs> banana, banana shouldn't taste, taste so good. good. You threw away the magic boomerang? Should've come back. You ate the Giganticonda's lunch so it had zebras instead? Snake should've, should've made, made two sandwiches. sandwiches. That was just... <laughs> George, no, it looked bad. But why blame George? <laughs> You sure not all your fault? <laughs> George, wish everyone is nice to George's butt mouth! It's not their fault, pal. They just need to relax. Hey, I know how you can help your buddies. Yeah! George just won help! <laughs> Big door still creepy. And old sloth looks scared. Old people are always scared. Your friends need relaxing, supportive undergarments like me. Then they'll stop blaming you for everything. Balls act very soft on bottom. Make George feel good about George. Then crack that door open and make your friends feel good about themselves, too. Now what? George done here? <laughs> you are free, brother! Let us weave our loom and doom with every synthetic fiber of our being. <laughs> George think that laugh sound a little too evil. Copy! Don't keep stuffing me! Important? You've opened the fitting room up forever and released the underworld underwear. <laughs> <laughs> it has begun. It cannot be unbegun. Our elastics will lay waste to every waste. Our thermals will smother and stifle. We want to wear you. You will be filled with holes and thrown away! You will get stuck in a tight, dark place for eternity! Hey, why you ruin bananas like that? Because if I don't squish them, these squish me! Tiny paint's very bad! Help George stop them all! I'd love to, George, but I don't think I can. Okay, okay! I'm doing it. Observed in its natural habitat, underwear is clearly superior to people. Oh, this is nonsense! Ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay, um, um, they should never be worn again, and instead, we should let them wear us. Magnolia, evil undies up to no good! Use science to stop them! I wish I could! Underwear on a head is supposed to be hilarious! <laughs> oh, George, fault! Come on, that old sloth took way too long to warn you. Blame him. No, George listened to butt milk too much. George, take blame and take off undies. Give it your best shot. <laughs> I'm a perfect fit. We all are. And we're never coming off. Fine. Then George, get all you undies in bunch. That was horrible. George, what are you doing? George, get covered in undies and seal himself in vault. Undies trapped, jungle safe. Stop! Mm. Hey, I'm squeezing things pretty tight. 
why aren't you stopping? <laughs> pain of big mistake more than pain in underwear places. George, there has to be another way. <laughs> You'll starve inside the vault. That's called responsibility, George Think. <laughs> George, don't blame yourself. This is all my fault. So let me loose. No! Oh, what is that? George fill up on chili so he survive until lunchtime. <laughs> Get off of him now! A very done cut! George, you were willing to trap yourself in there to save the rest of us. Yeah, was right thing to do. It all George fault. He admit making boo-boos in future. Deal? <laughs> uh, why nobody make eye contact with George? We need to find your old loincloth. <laughs> the jungle needs help. A stinky fog of unknown origin is infecting everyone. Big, small, handsome, <coughs> even me. But not to worry. George is on the case with, <coughs> with his best friend, Ape. I'm going to lie down for a minute. George used Kigley's sense of smell to find source of Stinky Stink. And I will use something that actually works. A gas detector. Uh, this way, Ape! Uh, oh! Smell come from Swamp! It's stinky, all right, but not stinky enough. Oh, oh, jungle gym. Oh, a dreadful bouquet, but still not the sauce. <laughs> oh, day after sloth party! As foul as they are, it's not the sloths. No, this awful gas is coming from over there. Ah, home sweet home. <laughs> it's coming from your <laughs> pile of garbage. What garbage? Your pile of garbage in the corner. That corner? No. That corner? No. That corner? No. That corner? No. That corner, the fifth one, hidden by your pile of garbage. Dumpy! Dumpy not garbage. Dumpy beautiful hot stinky pile of memories. In fact, it's true. Peel back the layers of Dumpy and you'll find a history of George. Bits of his first vine, bits of his face from hitting his first tree, every toast crust, every banana peel, every mail order purchase, every embarrassing loincloth, everything. Ah, dumpy leak gas from Stinkle. Need plug holes? Problem solved. George, you have to throw that. Uh, dumpy. Out. It's making the entire jungle sick. Here's a mop and a bucket, but I strongly urge you use the flamethrower. It's the only way to be sure. This stuff be good inside! I know this festering pile of disgusting trash means a lot to you, but some keepsakes are just garbage. I'll quarantine everyone under Mount Jungleton for the weekend. That gives you three days to get rid of Dumpy. Godspeed and good luck. Okay. George, you can do this. You go now, Dumpy. George don't want you around no more. <laughs> Go! Uh, shit. Uh. <sighs> My string collection! High string tie, high string bean, high science string theory! <laughs> oh, Duffy! Me not ready to let you go! <laughs> okay, villains on the left, wild animals on the right. And if you're not sure which you are, I'm looking at you, Shady Sloth. Choose whichever side you like. Don't worry, everybody, we won't be here long. George knows what to do. <laughs> Dumpy, me not know what to do. Mud fight or bungee jump? Bungee? Yay! <laughs> One last weekend of fun with Dumpy and George. <laughs> oh, Dumpy, you know me so good. Oh, me feel same way. Hmm, there's something else George's supposed to do this weekend. Oh, yeah, take out garbage. Bye-bye, <laughs> garbage. Oh, no. Oh, no! Hi, Dumpy, quick! Hey. 
No, 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 no. Hate to check closet for sure. George, hide you better. Most dangerous valley and jungle. No one look for Dumpy here. Be safe here, Dumpy. Be strong and no worry. George be back soon to bring you home. George, promise. I'm proud of you, George. There's no sign of garbage at all. Or our closet, which is odd. Yep, <laughs> memory's all gone. Okay, you go too now. Take vacation. <laughs> Bye. But George, we have coconut inventory to do today. Today? What? Uh, okay, uh, we do now. <laughs> <gasps> Hello? George? George counts super fast. One cocoa. Whoa! Oh, help me, okay. Finish count now. Ah. He said he'd come back. He said he, he loved me. Any time now. And that might have been that. Two weirdos yelling into the night. Except that pile of garbage had other ideas. <laughs> Twelve. What's wrong, George? Normally you love doing coconut inventory. And also, where were you for the last month and a half? <laughs> That's not an answer. Dr. Chicago? <laughs> George, here's something I cooked up just for you. Bad you better miss out now. Mm, it is badger butter. But how, Doctor Chicago, discover your secret allergy? Uh, <laughs> <help>. <laughs> I'll be back, George. I'll be back. I know, right? Now, did you hear about the time George mistook his loincloth for a lion cloth? <laughs> but me never tell anybody that. Or when he baked a cake for Abe's birthday, and the cake was terrible. <laughs> George almost forget that. <laughs> cake tastes like dirt. George, he's trying to demean you. <laughs> If George can no laugh itself, George can no laugh. <laughs> or, uh, when George tried to take a bath by eating soap and drinking shampoo, <laughs> who does that? <laughs> I'll do more! More! George! 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 I, uh, can't you see he's an idiot? Dave out! Steve, so cool. But how did he know all those secrets about you? How indeed? Dumpy! Dumpy? No more silence! This isn't what's supposed to happen at all! Wow, you grow wise! Neat! Good for you! Hug time! No! No more hugs! You abandoned me! Left me to die out there in the filthy jungle. Uh, technically, Dumpy not alive then. Quiet! I'm all your memories and you throw me away! George, what's Dumpy doing here? Uh, George gets he a little upset? You have to get rid of him. For real this time. Dumpy's still good inside. Me show you. 
Not everything is worth keeping, George. Sometimes it's just garbage. George, sorry he leave you in jungle. Stop with the hugs! Remember good times, Dumpy? See? Maybe, maybe I was wrong. George, I, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, ape right. Now George get better look, you mostly just garbage. Sanitize him! Get back! Me know there one last good memory inside you, Dumpy. I'll turn into compost, grow into a tree, get turned into packaging, get thrown out again, come back to life, and avenge myself! I'll be back in 30 for 40 years! There! All clean now. Ah, uh, good. Good work, George. One question, what was the good memory at Dumpy's core? Me never forget first soother ape give George when George a baby. Oh, George. Me keep it forever. Ah, gross. Well, Dumpy gone. Story over. Uh, actually, there may be a few loose ends to tie up. 